Bismillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum again everyone. Now we'll be looking at the SLR1 parsing technique. So here we have been given a grammar e tends to e plus n slash n. So for this grammar we need to construct the SLR1 table and then look for the input. Now this is the augmented grammar. First we need to convert this grammar into an augmented grammar. Basically augmented grammar consists of extra production of this form e dash tends to e. This is basically used to differentiate the start symbol which will be used later on in the DFA and the parsing table. So this is the augmentation of the grammar. This is the first step. Then we need to identify the LR0 items. LR0 items are nothing but the e these these productions with, with an indication of a dot. This dot indicates how much of the production is that is being parsed meaning e dash tends to dot e meaning this means that the uh, parsing is has just begun and this means e, e dash tends to e dot this means the parsing has already completed meaning parsing of e is completed and similarly for all the productions we need to write the lr0 items so these are the lr0 items we just need to shift the dot towards the right side till the end of the production and this is another lr0 item so these are the lr0 items then we need to calculate the first and the follow items this will be useful for the passing table and then so now we can differentiate these lr0 items as complete and incomplete items complete items are nothing nothing but the items which have the dot at the end meaning the parsing the productions for which the parsing has completed so these are the productions which indicate the parsing that is completed so these three are the complete items and all the remaining LR0 items will be the incomplete items. Now we are going for the DFA of that uh, as for that grammar using SLR, SLR1 parsing. So this is the DFA. First we begin with the augmented grammar this, that is e dash tends to dot e. Now as we have a dot before a non-terminal, whenever we have a dot before a non-terminal then we need to expand the productions of that non-terminal. So here we have a dot before a non-terminal e. So we are expanding the productions of e that is e tends to dot e plus n and e tends to dot n so these are the expansions of capital e and we are labeling labeling this this state as state zero now we are now all the symbols which are in front of dot are considered to be the input for this state so the inputs for this state are e and n so when we are taking input e then we have two productions with the input e so this is one production and this is another production so these two productions have input e so then this state goes to another state that is s1 state sorry state 1 and now the input has already read has been read so the dot will be shifted towards right this indicates that the parsing is completed for completed for the input e so e dash tends to e dot and e, e, e tends to e dot plus n now another input to this state is n so that is we are getting this state e tends to n dot similarly now here we have the input plus so we are taking that input and going to this state e tends to e plus dot n and then again we have input n so e tends to e plus dot e plus n dots so this is the dfa for slr1 passing now we need to create the passing table passing table has three things in it state action and go to state represents all the states in the dfa action represents all the terminals in the grammar and go to represents the non terminals so now how we need to fill this table is now for state 0 we need to check the inputs see the input is e and it is going to state 1 so in go to for e we are writing 1 because state 0 on taking input e it is going to 1 so go to e that is 1. Now another input for state 0 is n. So for that n in that respective column we are writing s2 meaning we are performing a shift operation of this dot and going to state 2 that is the meaning of s2. So right we are performing that shift operation and going to state 2. So we are writing s2 in the column of n. Similarly for state 1 we have the inputs plus so for plus by taking plus we are going to state s3 and shifting the dot shifting the shifting the dot so we are writing s3 
in the respective column and also in state 1 we have a complete item now the com for the complete item we need to reduce those items but this is a special kind of complete item wherein we have a start symbol we have a start symbol here so this start symbol indicates now for this start symbol e dot e dash tends to e dot means the parsing is completed so when whenever the parsing is completed for the start symbol that means the grammar is accepted the string is accepted input string is accepted so for that we are writing in dollar accept meaning now for this state if we get an input dollar then we can accept meaning the input can be accepted that is parsing is success successful now for state 3 we have input n so for the by taking this input we are going to state 4 so we are writing s4 and for state 4 we have another complete item e tends to e e plus n dot now we need to reduce this item whenever there is a complete item in a, in a state we need to reduce that meaning the parsing is completed for this input so we can reduce this whole thing into the left hand side so for this uh, we have represented here the reduce items e dash tends to e dot is represented as r1 e tends to e plus n dot is represented as r2 reduce 2 and e tends to n dot is represented represented as e r3 so for this e tends to e plus n dot now we have to reduce this but we we have to reduce this in follow of e only in those terminals which are in the follow set of e so follow set of e has plus and dollar so in plus and dollar here in plus and dollar we are writing r2 similarly for the state 2 we have another complete item e tends to n dot so we have to reduce this again so this is uh, this is the second third expression r3 so we are writing r3 in the follow of e so follow of e is again plus and dollar so in plus and dollar we are writing r3 that is reduce 3 now there in slr parser there are two types of conflicts that can occur one is the shift reduce conflict and then another one is the reduce reduce conflict shift reduce conflict occurs when there when we have a state with one complete item and one or more incomplete items that is the state can be of this form a tends to b dot this is a complete item and c tends to alpha dot beta this is an incomplete item so here we have an example the e dash tends to e dot and e tends to e dot plus n so this is a this there is a chance for an sr conflict but in sr slr1 parser this sr con shift reduce conflict is also called as sr conflict so this sr con conflict can be removed if, if and only if the follow of a meaning this left hand side the follow of a intersection first of beta first of beta is beta is uh, anything which is after dot in this production anything which comes after dot that is beta so follow of a and for first of beta should be phi meaning should not be phi sorry follow of a and first of beta should equal should be equals to phi only then the conflict is solvable So the follow of a and first of beta should be equals to 5 meaning suppose here in, in our example we can check it as see e dash is nothing but similar to a a tends to beta dot b dot and e tends to e dot plus n is similar to the c tends to alpha dot beta and a is here nothing but e dash c is nothing but e and beta beta is plus which is after dot beta is after dot right so after dot here we have plus so we need to check in follow of e dash follow of e dash is dollar and this do and follow of e dash we don't have plus symbol which is first of this beta this whole thing is beta so the first of beta is plus so the plus and dollar if we add them then we get 5 because there is no similar items in this so this is why this means sr conflict does not arise in this slr1 parser so we, we can perform slr1 parsing on this another type of conflict is reduce reduce conflict this arises when state has two or more in complete items complete items as in a tends to beta dot b tends to alpha dot 
so whenever we have this type of uh, items in a single state then that is a reduce reduce conflict this can be solvable if and only if follow of a that is the left hand side of this and follow of b is equals to 5 meaning there shouldn't be any common items in follow of a and follow of b only then reduce reduce conflict can be skipped does not reduce reduce conflict does not arise so in our example that is not there so now we need to pass the input n plus n so for this input first we need to append dollar to that input and these there are the three parts first is the stack input and then action stack contains the states dollar and zero input n plus n appended with dollar and action what we need to perform now by looking at the passing table we can solve this so zero on n input zero state on n input we have an s2 meaning shift to 2 so we write the action as shift and we shift this symbol to the left hand side that is on the stack 0 n and then we are and we write the state to which we are moving see from 0th state we are accepting n input and going to the state 2 so we are shifting this n and then we are writing the state to which we are moving so 0 n 2 again 2 on plus 2 state on plus has a reduce instruction that is r3 so we need to reduce and r3 is e tends to n so on the right hand side we have just one terminal so now we need to pop two terminals now uh, suppose here we have beta number of elements on the right hand side of the reduce instruction then we need to pop two beta number of elements on from the stack here we have only one element so we are popping 2 into 1 that is 2 elements n and 2 and then we are writing the symbol into which this instruction is reducing this e dot e tends to n is reducing to e so we are writing e and then 0 state on taking input e it is going to state 1 so we are writing that 0 e 1 now 1 on plus it has a shift instruction 1 on plus s3 so we are moving this shift shifting and writing the state to which we are moving then 3 on n again has a shift instruction so we are moving this n here and writing the state to which we are moving that is 4 now 4 on dollar 4 on dollar has a reduce instruction that is r2 r2 is nothing but e plus uh, e plus n e tends to e plus n now we have we have to count the number of elements on the right hand side that, that is 3 so now beta is equals to 3 now we need to pop tw twice of beta elements that is 6 2 into 3 that is 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 elements we have to pop and then we, we need to reduce this into e because this e plus n is reducing to e that is we have 3 elements on the right hand side e plus n so we are popping 6 elements from the stack and reducing the, th those 6 elements into E that is the right hand side of the production and then 0 on E goes to 1 state now 1 on dollar 1 on dollar has accept so this string is accepted by the SLR1 parser Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh